Welcome to Unlocking Sweet Commerce, a series of tutorials, how-tos, and guides guaranteed to make Sweet Commerce easy. To access the site management tools, get into your website and click Escape on your keyboard. It will take a few seconds to load and it will require you to log in to your NetSuite account. When you notice a toolbar at the top of the page, it means you're on the CMS. It will enter directly into the preview mode where you can see your website as it is at the moment. You can click on the overview mode section, which will show you all of the different pages your website has. You can also access the edit mode section. We'll get into that later. And the last tab is the review and publish section, where you will be able to review all of your changes and decide if you want to publish them or not. Enter the edit mode by clicking on the pencil that's on the toolbar. Once you've entered, you can see, for example, how this section over here turns gray on hover, and the rest of the sections are in full color. This means that this section is editable through the CMS. To make a change to this section through the CMS, you need to click on the pencil at the top right corner, and a section will open on the right. For example, if you want to change the title, just click on title and write what you want to display. The change made is going to be visible immediately in the preview mode. Then, let's say you would like to change the button below the title. You'll need to do the same. Click on button and type what you want it to say. As you can see, it changes right away. In this case, that button is linked to the entire search results, but you can link it anywhere. You can also change the image. In order to change it, you need to make sure that the image that you would like to use for desktop and mobile is uploaded to the file cabinet. Then just get the path to the image and add it to that section. If you want to do a quick promotion, for example, you can schedule the banner to be visible in a specific time frame. If you don't want the banner to be visible anymore, just click on Remove. All these changes will be visible in the preview mode, but will not yet be live until published. In the Review and Publish section, you can see the last modifications made. In this case, it was the demo banner. To publish it, just select it and click on the Publish button at the top left of the page. Now, you can go to the live site and see the changes you've made. Let's jump to the About Us page to take a look at another example. Click on the pencil to edit the main content of the page, and you'll be able to see the whole HTML code that builds up the About Us text. There, you can edit the code and see the changes real-time. You can also delete part of the content or add more HTML code if you need to, in order to adapt the content to a specific layout or format. To add a new content type, go to the Add button at the top right. Before dragging the content to the page, you'll notice there are different sections. This page means that the content will only be visible in the About Us page. All pages means that the content will be available in all of the pages of the website, so be careful. Select one of the options available and drag it to the page. In this case, we'll use a CMS image. Once you've dragged the content type, you just need to select the file you want to use. Side note, be careful with the size of the image. In this case, all these images are square and they don't fit in the banner's dimensions. If you want to use an image as a banner, 
then you need to make sure that the size is correct because the CMS won't resize images automatically. As mentioned before, it's not enough to save your changes in the edit mode. You need to make sure to publish them so they are visible on the live site. In order to do that, you need to go to the review and publish section and look for the changes that you just made. Once you find them, select them and publish them. Keep in mind that once you publish the changes, there is no undo button. You will need to manually revert them. If you want to delete the changes made, go to the edit mode and click remove. Hopefully, this few tips will help you get started using the site management tools. Feel free to reach out to us if you need more help.